This manga will make you depressed, something that will make you feel empty or might hit home. It's not every day that I would go out of my way to recommend a 143 page one shot manga. But before we get to that, if you're new here, hit subscribe. It's a manga that speaks a personal story. And in a quite literal sense, it's a very personal story. With so many layers about two aspiring artists, Fujino and Kiyomoto. But also a message about Fujimoto himself. Yes, Tatsuki Fujimoto, the author of Chainsaw Man. His feelings and growth as an artist from youth to adult. Because if you combine Fujino and Kiyomoto, you get Fujimoto. It's called Look Back and if you haven't read it yet, give it a quick read and watch this video after. It's a reference to the song Don't Look Back in Anger and the title speaks for itself. A beautiful, bittersweet and painstaking story of regrets, insecurities and a drive to continuously move forward. It will make you question what really happened and what didn't. If we could take back one thing, just one thing in the past that might have changed the outcome of where we are now, what we are doing, what we could have done, would we do it? Reading this manga left me with goosebumps and hit me straight in the guts as we explored two different timelines. What if Kiyomoto never left the house and never went outside for Fujino? It's also a story of being able to learn why we pursue our passions and our insecurities behind them. Or in this case, why does Fujino and Kiyomoto draw? Fujino who loved the attention she got for it and to compete with Kiyomoto. And Kiyomoto who would draw out of boredom and actually looked up to Fujino's works. These two realized at some point they were drawing for each other, for the people that truly enjoy it until the tragic incident that took Kiyomoto's life. Kiyomoto was not just a friend but also a part of Fujino to keep drawing. The initial passion and childlike wonder to pursue what you like doing simply because it is what you like doing. But at some point that passion can change from even the simplest insecurities and fears. Do others like it? Do they hate it? Do others draw better? Zero job prospects for art degrees? The fear of pursuing art as a career? It could be a reflection of Fujimoto's fear when applying to an art school when he was younger. That innocent childlike wonder is gone, just like Kiyomoto. Something we see as Fujino reflects on her work. Breaking down in grief, a what if story of wanting to take back something from the past or an allegory for losing a part of yourself. That initial wonder of creating art, creating manga. Something that a lot of us can feel at times regardless Regardless of what we do, not just creating manga, just looking back in our life. Especially as an adult, it's so much different just seeing the world compared to back when we were younger. The changes in motivation. Everything from the paneling and the tone in this manga just adds to the impact of the story. This panel of Fujino just breaking down or this one page that just whispers sadness or the very last page that screams the world keeps moving forward. Tatsuki Fujimoto's ability to constantly portray raw emotions is really something. Please give this manga a read, even mangakas like the author of Oyasumi Punpun, Inio Asano was praising this. And if you are reading Chainsaw Man Part 2, you'll see that Asamitaka and Fujino have so many parallels. Whether you read this story as the story of two girls with an amazing friendship or the story of the development of an artist, it will definitely make you feel something. Yeah that's about it, bye bye, goodbye, have a nice read, subscribe, peace.